This is uh, day two, no contact. I am kind of ashamed to admit that I drove past his apartment twice. One was honestly to see if he was home. And the second time is because I had to go by that way to pick up a friend and drop them off, so technically three times, but... I was honest in a meeting today. And, um... I said that my thoughts of suicide are back. And the thoughts of using are back. All because... I'm missing the unpredictability of that love. There is an absence in my life. And just like right now, there was a message that came through and I fucking hope that it's him. Like, I don't know what else to say. I just fucking wish that he would message. I'm glad he doesn't, but I'm fucking- I wish that he could. I wish that he would. And this is codependency. Today I woke up with suicidal ideations, and I slept like shit. But I still went to my Cairo, and I came home, and even though I wasn't hungry, I ate food. It's just yogurt. And then I went to do something for myself. I did the sensory deprivation tank. And I thought that was going to be torture. But it actually wasn't that bad. Kind of felt nice. And yet I still feel guilty. I feel guilty that I'm doing stuff for myself. <clears throat> and then I went to the gym. Good workout. Came home, ate a sandwich, took a shower, and then I picked up a friend to do book work. And I did book work. We went to a thrift store and then we went to a meeting. And that's where I was really vulnerable in the meeting. I just couldn't hold back the tears of the honesty and some people came up and said you're gonna be okay and it doesn't feel like it there was one woman that knew exactly what I was feeling like The eggshells, the unpredictability, the, the love bombing, the, the chaos of it all. And because I dropped off my friend that lived up there, I drove past. And his car was there. And I keep checking another site and uh, it's so stupid he keeps liking pictures of women with big breasts and I obviously don't and it feels it feels painful because what guy doesn't like big breasts right
now he deactivated his account, so I can't even creep him, which is a good thing. But it honestly just speaks more to his character. That he's he can't sustain anything. There's no consistency. And I know this too shall pass, but god damn it, man. I'm fucking deep in it. Because as much as I know that this is the best decision for me not to be with him, I miss his fucking friendship. And if he showed up at my door, I know I would say yes to let him in. I know that if he called, I would answer him. If he said I want to meet, I would meet him. And that fucking sucks. <laughs>